Hi guys, I'll show you today a tool that I recently discovered myself also. It's a USB endoscope, so it's a USB camera that is advertised to help you clean your ears. So what's inside the box is a, is a manual that is acceptable. But I forgot to tell you that if you take a picture of this QR code, it should point you to an app that you install on your phone, but that app is not there anymore. The link is broken, so this manual is almost worthless. Not very clear about what you need to do with these items that are inside the box. Anyway, we have a a wipe here that probably is for the camera and we have the camera itself it's just a camera with a pen and a, and a USB cord and cable so here you have a normal USB okay or a micro USB this is for older phones older Android general I'm not sure about Nokia and with this adapter here it becomes a USB type C so USB type C micro USB and full USB for the computer and um, here there's a, an adjuster for for the light of the camera this is a cap protecting cap so let me show you this is the camera uh, there are some LEDs here I'll just remove this because it's so lousy that the thing rem you know got loose the head so we have this little camera here surrounded by some LEDs and then a protective cap with a glass front of it so I'll try to f to give it a bit of, of power okay I have a laptop here I'll plug it in Okay, and now it's powered. So, as you see, there are these LEDs that are adjustable. The power is adjustable from here, from no LED to something to a lot. Um, uh, let me talk, tell you about, I'll show you how it sees inside the ear or inside something else anyway. I'll. I'll show you some in a few moments. Let me tell you about what's wrong with it. It's the worst, maybe the one of the worst products I've ever seen. So here you you have some mm, how do you call it gloves for this for the pen. You know, so I can, for example, this tool is supposed to take the the wax out of your ears so it's supposed to be put in here okay and then this glove or I'm not sure how to call it on top of it and this this now should go into your ear and you should do something with this tool remove your wax then there are some some attachments here these ones are very sticky so they are supposed to, rem to stick on the wax inside of you, your ears so it's the same system you put it here and then no more glove needed and then just you know plug it in your ear the problem with these things you know is that the this camera 
is thick you can't reach far with it because it's thick you know your ear is not as thick as this you might not realize but also because the ear is curved and you know inside there's also this edge of the camera is very sharp very sharp it scratches your ear it hurts you it hurts it and it irritates your ear and then one more thing is that uh, if your ear, ear already hurts, it will be very sensitive, so this hurts even more. It, you know, putting it in your in, in a already suffering ear is different than, and then this is some kind of scoop. It goes in the same place. And then you're trying to scoop something out of your ear. It won't work because the scoop tip is not in the same, it's not in the focus. So if you want it closer or further, it's not clear on the camera anymore. Okay. And these are just some, you know, some. An attachment that it's something like a q-tip you know anyway just to clean things around I don't know why there are so many things here you can't I don't think it's um, hygienic to share it with anyone else so I don't know why they put so many of these tools here Anyway, they don't own, they don't help in any way. It doesn't do the job. The only thing that I managed to do with it is to have a look inside my ear and see what the problem is. But I couldn't get fully in because it hurts. It's thick. You know, you can't push it because you're you have to push it against your your flesh, and it's it's it scrapes. You know, it's painful. Even on my hand, it's painful. So I couldn't reach with the tools to the right point. If I wanted to make the tool longer somehow to improvise and make it longer so I don't have to put this in my ear, then it's not in focus because this focus here, I'm not sure it's about a centimeter or something. It's not adjustable. This camera doesn't have any adjustments, you know, manual or automatic. There's So on this device, on this camera, there is no uh, focus adjustment. No focus is not adjustment, and that makes its use very limited. Another issue is this cable here. This cable is thick and inflexible, so you only have one hand. It might be a child, and while you're exploring things you need to rotate it you know you need to rotate there to find the exact you know orientation that you want that corresponds with your movements because if you move right and the phone shows diagonal or something it's not convenient so you just want to twist it a bit to get the right orientation on your screen or whatever and it's just this cable is thick and flexible and it makes that very hard and you know it's not not a good tool at all I hate it one of the worst devices that I've ever tried it's a fantastic idea and I'll I'll try to find one that is slim and nicely built that it, you, you can use not this one that my my ear still hurts it's two days now and my ear still hurts after getting scratched with this horrible edge, you know.
know, and you know, it cut loose. It's just, just uh, trash. Anyway, see you next time. Bye.